you hold it in like like you're holding your own hand. You come in and it's not tight enough, your elbow has to be way down here. So it's, if you hold your wrist straight, it won't be that tight. But if you bend it a little bit, it can be a bit tight and you can lower your elbow more. So you're holding your own hand, locking in, locking the elbow down. And my wrist is bending a little bit, but I'm holding my own hand. So I'm pulling him over. And I still don't let go after here. I keep hold on or go on top or anything, but I keep hold of it. So don't let go at the end. So this one shoots in quick, holding your own hand and locking it down. It's kind of a bit of a retard position, <laughs> but it's really strong. So lock it down, elbow down together as much as you can, and then you squeeze, you're scissoring his head off. So that one lifts, that one pushes down, and he'll he'll turn by himself. You don't even have to force him. But if you if he struggles, he'll just hurt himself. But he'll still roll. So. And you keep hold of it. So don't let go. So, turn. so you start trying to come side by side. So if you go this way, you're going to turn him that way. On the side, that's not good enough. You want him to roll over. He'll roll over by himself, pretty much, by forcing his head down and two forearms up. So you come side by side and he'll roll over. He comes down and to hold down. Very simple, quite powerful. One more time. This one has to go really deep. As deep as you can, has to be quite quick too. Lock it in, elbow down, two elbows trying to touch together. In, and he'll roll by himself.